What's up guys, Mike on Daily Riot, and today's video is of Sean Strickland, UFC champ, going off. This dude goes ham on all of these woke reporters in Canada that try to pull him up over some tweets he made a while back about how he didn't want to have a gay son. They try to shame him, but this dude goes absolutely savage. There's a shift, a cultural shift happening in this country and around the world right now. Woke is being rejected. Everything that's coming from the left right now is going down a drain because we've seen it fail time and time again. We've seen it destroy society and it's never ending. We've never seen anything positive coming from these people except them spending more and more money inflating the currency and continuing to destroy our way of life. Let's go ahead and jump into this video and then we'll break it down. You are you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. Uh, Sean, we were talking before about how you have so much respect from your teammates, from peers. You said you have great interaction with fans pretty much all the time. Um, I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You. I mean, you got to like, did you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. And, and let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like, if you ask him, oh, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say that's none of your business. He voted for Biden. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this. Yeah, that's the thing. If you actually voted for someone that you're proud of, you would proclaim it proudly that, yeah, this is who I voted for. They're clearly ashamed of what they did. City, I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I... Oh, well, look, another, another, I'm saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone's... Let me ask you oh, something. Are you, I, are you, I, I are you chance, gay? Have are, you had the chance no, to are, with a are, more diverse are you, crowd. let me know, are, are you gay? Can I hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of the, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son, and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau, like, and and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid shit like that, go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, yeah, man. Really, that really answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what, and they'll, we'll know what they stand for. Are you this guy's like, nah, this Canadian's not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. 10 years ago, to be trans was a, what? A mental fucking illness. And now all of a sudden, people like you have weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you and the best thing is is the world's not buying it the world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling the world is not saying you know what you're right chicks have dicks the world's not saying that world's saying no there are two genders i don't want my kids being taught about you know who they could in school i don't want my kids being taught about you know their sexual preference like dude this guy is a fucking enemy uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy Damn. to our world it's that motherfucker right there it's Freedom. We still have it in America. We'll teach you about it. You guys don't have freedom of speech. I'm surprised what I'm saying is probably going to get, I'm probably going to get the uh, Canadian government to arrest me. I don't give a fuck what you want to do in life, but don't fucking tell kids about it. Don't teach that shit in fucking school. Don't, don't fucking push your agenda. Don't try to fucking brainwash people. Having such a high profile individual, a UFC champ going out publicly and just demolishing these reporters. You know, and the UFC represents this guy, and they're absolutely fine with it. This is a sign of the tide changing, and these people are getting desperate. They're getting so desperate, in fact, that let me go ahead and jump into this next post. This was a post on X by Chris Littlewoo8. What I am seeing is a direct attempt to silence, censor, deprioritize, demonetize, isolate, and cast doubt against any that questions the current plan plans of governments, big pharmaceutical, and the parasitic ruling classes. Enterprising Desert Raven is the username for a single Community Notes contributor. Since joining Community Notes in March 2023, it has posted nearly 5,000 Community Notes. So is it a bot, a group of paid agenda activists, or a three-letter agency or agencies? Or maybe all of them have come together to do this. But of course, it's the things that they're striking on or creating these community notes on that is of interest. One thing is for sure, in my opinion, it's impossible to be a single person. 
It is posting over 70 community notes per day, every day without rest. This guy is a community notes contributor. He knows what he's talking about. He says, these notes have to be backed up with linked supporting evidence. It is just not possible to achieve this on a daily basis. This is a relentless attack on anyone that dares to question the things that have happened to us or the plans they have in place for humanity. Community Notes works on a basis that when a contributor sees a post and wishes to correct that post, they create a note that provides information and links to data that support their note. So this is the system that X uses to do fact checking. The interesting thing is everything this one account creates notes on, it deprioritizes their videos. So it shows up lower in the list. It demonetizes their videos. So they're not able to make any money on it. And it basically casts doubt on anything negative that's said about these left leaning ideologies. The left is getting desperate. They're getting more and more desperate every single day because they know what's coming for them. Donald Trump, there's no stopping him at this point. He is light years ahead of everyone else. Vivek is going to be part of that equation. And these guys are going to show up like a couple of grim reapers. If you're a three-letter agency, if you're any kind of left-leaning nonsense, any kind of commie nonsense, it's the end of the show for you guys. You guys had your day in the sun. You pretty much took four years and destroyed this country. That stuff's over. It's over. And they know it. That's why they're willing to do anything and everything. All right, guys, this was Daily Riot. Until the next one.